Hey guys, so I am about to head out tonight. It's my fiance's birthday and I was doing my makeup. Um, we're going out to the club and um, I thought, you know, I might as well do a tutorial because um, there are some new products I'm using and I wanted to show them to you guys and then um, I don't do tutorials probably as much as I should so I decided to get one in. <laughs> so I'm going for kind of like a neutral kind of look. I was really inspired by Time the Infamous. She had this warm neutral look that she just recorded so I was really inspired by it and I kind of did my own take on it um, which is what I always like, hope you guys do like if you see something that you like from me just recreate it with what you have put your own little twist on it make it fit your face so let's go ahead and do it. it's gonna be just me kind of like a get ready with me video my hair is still curly so um, starting to get a little bit frizzy but I'm just, I have it pinned up so that way hopefully when I take it down, I'll have some volume. So let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, first off, I am going to prime my eyes with my favorite Stilo Eyeshadow Basic Medium. Then I'm going to go straight to my Makeup Geek palette, and I'm going to apply my Crease Transition Color. I think this might be Cocoa Bear, and I'm using my fluffy um, Sugar Pill Crease Brush to get that transition color in. Then I'm going in with a darker matte brown in my Universal Blender from Sedona Lace, and I'm going to etch out that crease and really define it as well as my outer V. Then I'm going to place down a lid color. This is Beaches and Cream, a peachy neutral shade onto my lid because it's kind of a neutral smoky eye. So pack that on with a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to work on my brows. So the eyeshadow was pretty much, it's for the most part done. So I'm using the Tarte Emphasized Brow Mousse Medium Brown and the pencil actually the brush that comes with it. So I lightly fill in and then draw on the tail. And then I set it with Senna Brow Gel and Golden Brown. This is how I achieve that really light, natural brow that everyone always asks me about. And it goes really well with my hair color. Then we're cleaning up the brow with that same eyeshadow base and just a synthetic shader. And it's gonna give me more of a clean brow as well as a natural highlight. So just rub it in with your finger to blend out the edge. And then we're going to set that with Vanilla Eyeshadow from MAC which I happen to place in my Makeup Geek palette. And this is an Avita shader brush, which I love to use for my brow bone. All right, now we're going to blend in the transition color to meet the brow bone. I always do this to kind of fill in that blank space. And then we're going to take a little bit of black, which is Corrupt from Makeup Geek, and I'm using a small Avita shader brush because I just want to place a tiny bit in the outer V, not too much, just a little bit to smoke it out. And then I use that Universal Blender to soften and blend it out so it's just a hint of smoky not like a crazy dramatic amount of smoky so blend that in and then I'm going to line my eyes using Ingla gel liner number 77 and this is a Bobbi Brown liner brush so I am creating a nice thick wing line and this adds a lot of drama to the pretty natural eyes and then I'm applying the bombs I think this is big fatty mascara and I'm then applying um, Cocoa Lashes. I believe these are Bella Lashes using my Cosmetics eyelash applicator. And I love these lashes. So popping them on. And that already makes a look. And then I apply a nude pencil in my waterline. This is a little bit more flattering for my tan skin. You can also use white. This is Anastasia Pro Pencil on my waterline. Then I'm going to take my favorite Preo eyelash curler and I'm going to just curl my lashes so that they, that way it blends in with my falsies and lifts up all the lashes really nicely. Now onto the face, I'm using Cover Effects Total Cream Cover Foundation in G80. This is my new like tan shade using the Cover Effects Cream Foundation brush, which is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I haven't been using it because it really gives you a nice, nice coverage and it blends out everything nicely because of its round natural hairs. So I'm applying all over my face and my neck and my jaw. Now I'm going to highlight using the Cover FX Cream Concealer. I think I'm using medium or medium deep as opposed to light because of, again, my tan. So I want to give something lighter but not too light where it looks weird. So I'm just blending it in with my fingers. And then once I'm done highlighting, I'm going to contour using 
the um, same foundation but it's in a deeper shade N90 and then I'm using the liquid foundation brush from Corifex so it has that nice flat top which gives me a sharp edge for the contour so I apply it down my nose, on my jaw, on my cheekbones and then I'm going to go ahead and set that under eye concealer using um, my Corifex illuminating powder and light and it really is going to brighten and lighten and illuminate and I'm using my Stone Lace Lux Essential Cheek Brush. So just set that and then we're going to contour using this um, City Color Cosmetics Matte Bronzer. So this is kind of a new product for me. I like it though because it's got a nice shade to it. I'm using a Real Techniques Buffer Brush. I think this is our bronzer brush to set that cream foundation. Then on my cheeks I'm going for a cream blush from Mayron. It's like this really pretty tawny kind of shade. I'm using a Cover FX um, Duo Fiber Brush so that way it's not too heavy of an application because the blush is so pigmented. So this blush is my base and then I'm going to go ahead and set that with this Balm and Stain Blush which lasts all day. I love it. So I'm just going to put that right on top. It's going to give me this kind of mauve cheek. And I'm going to set everything else on my face with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. Now this is the I think this is the only other shade and it has more of a warmth to it so it's great for my entire face. Now that my face is done I'm going to finish the eyes. I put a little brown on the lower lash line then I'm putting this Nude Sticks Cream um, kind of golden color on my tear duct and then some bottom lashes from House of Lashes to add to the drama using again that same Cover FX applicator. And then I'm smoking out my lower lash line a little bit more with black to kind of blend in the lash band as well as putting a little bit of that Inglot Gel Liner and that's all just to blend in the lash band. And then I'm going to a more neutral lip. I'm using um, Jordana, I think this is Tawny Lip Pencil and I'm setting it with Wet n Wild Marvelicious Lip Pencil. And that's pretty much for the makeup. So now I'm just gonna take down my hair, fluff it up a little bit. My, um, my blazer and my dress are from Art and B. The necklace, chain necklace is from H&M. And uh, I pretty much have everything done, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out MakeupByRenRen.com for our final look, pictures, and products used. And until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.